You love Andy. I love Andy. Somebody asked me the other day, how long have you known Andy? And because I've known so many of my friends for so long, I keep thinking he's my new friend. But then I recalled, oh, wait, I was pregnant. I was really, I had terrible morning sickness. And then before, I was like, oh, no, he's not. He's my new friend. But it's, we're working on 25, 26 years now. Of yeah, a real well, friendship, and we've come a long way. In the beginning, we kept bumping into one another, and we had mutual friends, but it wasn't a friendship that was easy. Do you know, like, when you have somebody new in your life, and you're drawn to them, but you wouldn't ask them out alone. But then eventually, we were going to the theater. He would come to the theater with me. I'd drag him to a theater or a restaurant deep in Chinatown that he'd try to understand. <laughs> but those are those kind of experiences that eventually... You're in a room with him and you don't have to talk and he's that friend that's real, you know, and it just changes. I was talking to Andy last week about this on the air. I mean, he told me he's building a house next door to yours. <laughs> I said, you know what? Leave the woman alone. Wait for her to invite you over. I mean, don't. Oh, no, no, no. I said, Andy, what are you standing on the deck waiting to see if Sarah's out there? And then, you, you, know, you know, like I could see him sitting out there all day. It's thrilling. And my daughter is going to babysit for Ben. Oh, wow. She okay. already has, actually. Yeah, no, it's not a, a an annoyance. It's like a kind of a bonus, like some kind of wonderful thing that happened. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't do well with a, a famous person in my, you know, because I'm so fucked up that but I have to be the that, most. You say that, and I feel like you're not. I have to be the most famous trust person. Him. Like, I'll, I'll trust, trust me when I tell Robin. you I'm fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I was walking, uh, Jimmy Kimmel would come over my house mm -hmm. and uh, we'll go for a walk or something. Always throughout the years that I knew Jimmy early on, uh, there was no question when I was walking with him, everyone came up to me and wanted to, to, to talk with me and would carry on and want a picture with me. And I, I loved it because uh, let him let this guy sit and watch my fame. And then Jimmy's show caught on and he's on late night television. And all of a sudden I'm walking with him and people are, hey, Jimmy. And I was like, oh, boy, oh, I got to get rid of this guy. I'm, I want him out of my life. I'm not walking around oh, with no, him. Oh, she's going to choke. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, Sarah, oh, no, I, I don't she, want it. You need to stop. She's choking. Like, like, I, you know, I don't. I got to get rid I, of this I, guy. I love you, but I'm not walking around with you.